Thank you very much, Secretary Gopal, uh, for giving us a comprehensive overview of the projects that you're focusing on in your state, but also highlighting required partnership and business models. Yeah, if you like, you can you can uh, take a rest downstairs to, to start with. Our next speakers highlight that uh, what in Sweden we call the, the triple helix model. And that means that it's not only government as a, as a client in smart cities and companies, but there's also the need for uh, academic, uh, academia to take a very solid part of smart city development. So I like to call uh, three professors from uh, three different smart cities in the world, which is Professor Jansson, uh, KTH, uh, Professor Amrutur from uh, Bangalore, as well as your Bangalorean colleague that has to present himself. Please welcome on stage. I'm Carl Jansson from KTH. Um, and we are my colleague, uh, Professor Amrutur from uh, prestigious uh, university, Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore, and also my colleague, Dr. Ferrer from the Barcelona city. Uh, so. Um, what I'm going to present is an initiative which is in the form of a new uh, European um, Union instrument, which is called the Knowledge Alliance, which is under the so-called Erasmus Plus program. A Knowledge Alliance is an initiative with a purpose to change education. Uh, education in a way that education are better apt to meet business needs and also with a focus, not a rather single discipline education, but multidisciplinary uh, education. Also, it's, um, it's a must here for a knowledge alliance to have a balanced representation of academia and industry. It's not just a university consortia. And finally, there should be a focus on innovation and entrepreneurship skills uh, of the students. Uh, so what we try to do uh, is uh, to uh, now plan an initiative uh, uh, in this form uh, focused on smart uh, cities. Uh, and of course we focus on problems and I don't think we are original there. Many of you recognize uh, uh, the, the, the problem categories. Uh, we also focus on enabling technologies and, and of course the enabling technologies are also well-known state-of-the-art technologies within ICT. Where I hope we are unique in our ambition to combine these things. We are not only looking, analyzing problems, we are not just pushing technologies. We try to combine, uh, combine these, bringing the state-of-the-art technologies into the problem-solving situation. Uh, so so that, that's our focus. And um, the consortium looks like this. So first of all, it's a balanced consortium. As you know, European programs historically were more internal European projects. You can only f get funded for European partners. But in the new kinds of program, there is an opening to also have overseas partners. A Knowledge Alliance is one, one such case. So here in this case, we, we try to have a balanced consortium between Europe and India. And then we have a number of three main categories. So on one hand, what I term here as the problem owners, which are three cities in, in Europe, which is Stockholm, Berlin and Barcelona, and then two cities uh, in India, which is Bangalore and Chennai, uh, and uh, who are all committed partners of, of this consortium. And then we have five uh, universities also present in, in, in these uh, uh, cities, and also we have some resourceful uh, companies uh, also mapped uh, onto these uh, locations. So, so, so th this is the actors behind this proposal. And what are we planning to do? So essentially, what we plan to do is to not invent new education programs ourselves. So rather, we want to offer uh, what I can call a journey uh, to a selected number of students in existing programs. And this, what we want with these students is that the, these students should pr uh, produce theses. It may be master thesis, it may be PhD thesis in some cases, uh, with a focus that are relevant for solving problems in the smart city uh, context. And the ingredients in this kind of journey that we offer these students, uh, on top of, so to say, of what they normally do in their education, 
is a visit to one of the partner cities with exposure to the problems of that specific area in order to generate uh, the, the kind of basic problem for, for that thesis work. And then the idea is that the partner companies should, uh, should offer internships uh, introducing technologies that can be beneficial for solving uh, those problems. And then also giving winter schools and summer schools, probably summer schools in Sweden and winter schools in India, which is the most uh, realistic. And this will be systematically uh, offered over the years. Uh, also more technical workshops will be offered. And finally, the universities are committed to have special supervision to make this happen. So the hope is that after these three years of the program, we will have 50 uh, really good theses focused on, on, on this. So finally, of course, there are some side effects. So these events are not totally closed. These 50 students will be the core members, but they will also be open to other students from other program in a, in a more limited scale. Uh, so we hope to have an outer ring of influence um, our activities. And we also have an ambition to document the course parts of this in online form, so there will be a memory after the program in terms of online material that then can be used uh, continuously <coughs> afterwards. Finally, of course, we hope that the consortium here and the faculty and staff will form a roadmap out of this process that can initiate further collaborations. And so finally then, I would say, there are kind of, as I see, two parts here, European dimension, you always have to have that when you run an EU project, but there are also here an India dimension or an overseas dimension. And now I like uh, my two colleagues here to, to, uh, to finally just comment from their side on this project, maybe starting with our guest from, from Professor Amritur from India with the last one. Thank you, Professor. Uh, good morning, everyone. <coughs> so uh, we have recently uh, started an initiative <coughs> to look at uh, how uh, Internet of Things technologies can be used in smart cities. And uh, this is an activity which is being supported by the Department of Electronics uh, in India. And uh, it actually consists of uh, about 100 or so volunteers from different companies and academia in India who have come together to really look and think about and come up with guidelines how uh, these smart cities can use IoT technologies in a very vendor neutral way and also uh, try to solve problems which are very specific to India um, and the Indian conditions. So, uh, you know, as we have been thinking about that, and also there were some comments and just very interesting discussions yesterday uh, about uh, the specificity of problems in India. Uh, one thing kind of we realize is that uh, as humans, you know, I mean, there are a lot of, you know, fundamentally we are the same. And there are very specific things which are different. and. Uh, maybe that should also reflect in the kind of architectures and architectural patterns we use to solve our problems. And uh, the, the classic example is the case of uh, technology for smartphones. You have Android, which is a core technology, open source available everywhere, but specific customizations are very region, uh, specific to the region. So something similar we uh, hope we can do with this where certain core technologies uh, which have been developed in other parts of the world, for example, uh, uh, say in Barcelona, uh, we can use as foundations for these uh, solving our problems and then look at how we can customize and uh, have solutions specific to uh, our regions. Um, so, so, th so that is something very interesting uh, and exciting journey we are looking forward to do as part of this particular alliance. Another very interesting uh, aspect for us is uh, this, uh, this knowledge creation and education component, uh, which is kind of something very unique. Uh, typically in India, in the education system, somehow things have been figured out a long time back, and then in the classrooms, you know, uh, you're kind of taught about it. But this is a, a fantastic opportunity for us to learn and teach uh, in this really new emerging area of smart cities at the same time. You know, while we are doing the projects, uh, as, the, uh, as the program has envisioned, we'll be training the students, we'll be creating content, we'll be you know, uh, teaching the content. So I think it's going to be a really fantastic, uh, very interesting, uh, unique experience. Finally, some words from Professor Ferrer uh, on okay. the Barcelona <coughs> perspective. Okay. Good morning, uh, namaskar. I'm, I'm the <coughs> former director of uh, Smart City in Barcelona. Uh, you know that uh, Barcelona was the last two years the, the first innovation um, European capital. 
awarded from the uh, European Commission. I think that uh, Barcelona is just now one of the most successful uh, smart city models in the in the European rankings. Why? I think the key point was the open collaboration. Academy, private sector, and public sector. Okay. The, 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 Barcelona, the Barcelona Smart City model uh, have three clear goals. People, economical growth, and sustainability. And the model is based in the cooperation between these uh, three factors. People, uh, sorry, uh, sec private sector, public sector, and uh, academy. The, the, <coughs> the, mod the model uh, of uh, Barcelona uh, is based in the technology to transform in a holistic vision the different, uh, the different sectors in the city, in a holistic vision to transform the logistic, the infrastructures, the energy, water, etc., etc., etc. Then, uh, perhaps, smart city is just a brand. For me, I'm convinced that smart city is a big opportunity to do uh, the things in a, in a different uh, way, to transform our European cities, and it's a good opportunity to uh, collaborate together, the way is collaborating together uh, to transform the cities using the technology, not as a goal, using the technology as a driver. And I think that this way to collaborate <coughs> together and, <coughs> and we have a great opportunity uh, to export our experience uh, in India, then uh, I think that that is this project, cooperation between European and Indian cities, companies, and universities. Thank you very much.